Another vacant historic building up in flames tonight. This video from the St. Louis Fire Department showing crews trying to battle the fire as pieces of the past turn into ashes on Florissant on, uh, near Grand on the north side. And tonight, as crews continue to look into what happened there, we are looking into what is being done about the high number of vacant buildings in the city. So we looked into some of the latest numbers for the city. According to the STL Vacancy Collaborative's Vacant Property Explorer, there are over 9,000 vacant buildings across the city, with the city through the Land Reutilization Authority owning over 1,000 of those owned by the city itself. Unpaid property taxes, fees, and fines on those buildings and vacant lots has cost the city more than $20 million in three years. And our Nathan Vickers speaking to a group looking to make a change. He is live in North City tonight. Well, those numbers that you just illustrated um, tell a story of a, a problem with vacant buildings throughout the city of St. Louis, and this is one of them. I mean, you can see the mess that this leaves behind and the frustrations that vacant buildings can cause in neighborhoods like College Hill. There's a lot of them here, but a lot of organizations nearby also see a lot of potential and a lot of transformations happening in this neighborhood. A burned up vacant building is a reminder of some of the struggles Elma Ford has seen in her neighborhood in the past. I think it got so bad, a lot of crimes, shooting, killing, breaking in, but, but I stuck it out. She's been here more than 50 years and recently she's sensed a shift. It's improving. I think people want to move back here. Organizations like the African People's Education and Defense Fund see opportunities in neighborhoods like College Hill. Onazena Yashitla is part of the board of the organization, which has developed community spaces, gardens, and basketball courts out of once vacant properties. You can see the transformation that this community has undertaken since we've been on, on this block. The city's been making progress in reducing the number of vacant buildings here, too. In the College Hill neighborhood alone, 52 vacant LRA-owned buildings have been demolished in the last five years. Citywide, its goal is to address more than 200 properties in the next year, potentially bringing other new opportunities. Since we've been here, we've been able to actually obtain at least six or seven LRA properties, and we have transformed those LRA properties into vibrant uh, community properties. And while neglected, vacant buildings still present barriers. The people and businesses who call College Hill home are optimistic about what they've seen. New businesses, renovated homes, and signs of progress as the new NGA site nears completion. A lot of people coming back, wants to come back here, and a lot of them came back and and feel the vacancies that was here. With the changes that are coming and people are really interested in, you know, really staying on the north side of St. Louis, you know, uh, people really want to see change and they really, like I said, they're really starting to begin to transform this neighborhood again. Well, as for this building, SLDC, which runs the Land Reutilization Authority, says they're still making a determination of what to do with the property in terms of completely demolishing it or trying to salvage at least part of it. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. Nathan, thank you. Let's turn to our